Hello, my name is Tom Trivet. I did my final project on Apache Ranger Hadoop Security for the CSCI B63 Big Data Analytics course. Big Data Security has become a very critical area of concern for both corporations and governmental agencies due to some of the highly public breaches in the last few years. It's no doubt that the negative fallout from compromising millions of records of personal information has on an entity. And since Hadoop is the most popular big data processing tool in the world, a secure environment became required. This led to what eventually became known as Apache Ranger. There is an apparent misconception that IT organizations feel Hadoop is already secure. A recent Gartner Group survey listed only 2% of respondents concerned about security for Hadoop adoption. The reality of the course is that Hadoop is not secure. At every layer of the stack, there's vulnerabilities and the data itself, in some cases, has no protection at all, no, no encryption, and it's pretty much out in the open. Uh, add to that the kind of things that Hadoop's being used for, like sensitive healthcare information, uh, telephone uses, social media, any, any, any kind of information that contains personal data is uh, at risk using Hadoop without any type of security at all. And the reasons for this are pretty straightforward. Uh, Hadoop was initially developed in 2004 with essentially one goal in mind, to process large amounts of data on a distributed computing environment in as fast as time possible. Large data, like weather type data since 1900, uh, governmental type of data, maybe on populations or other things like that, already in the public domain were what was basically being processed. They didn't really have any uh, security concerns at the time it was more speed and the large sizes of the data. The first talks about security didn't start until probably 2009 when with the introduction of YARN and other types of uh, uses for the Hadoop system took it well past the simple MapReduce type of functionality uh, that was being implemented and into more types of uh, application usage that require robust security type uh, features. As Hadoop became a more popular platform for data analytics and processing, security professionals began to express concerns about the insider threat of malicious users in a Hadoop cluster. A malicious developer could easily write code to impersonate other users' Hadoop services, for example, writing a new task tracker or registering itself as a Hadoop service or impersonating the HDFS or MapReduce users, deleting everything in HDFS is even possible. Because data nodes enforce no access control, a malicious user could read arbitrary data blocks from data nodes, bypassing access control restrictions, or writing garbage to data nodes, undermining the integrity of the data to be analyzed. Basically, anyone could submit a job to a job tracker and could be arbitrarily executed. Because of these security concerns, the Hadoop community realized that more robust security controls were needed and as a result, the team at Yahoo decided to focus on authentication and chose Kerberos as the authentication mechanism for Hadoop. These 24 engineers at Yahoo that first developed the authentication white paper uh, decided in 2011 to leave Yahoo and form a new company uh, called Hortonworks. Hortonworks uh, did the original development on Ranger and then they uh, donated the entire package to Apache to be an open source project. One of the things that Hortonworks mentions uh, on their website when you read about uh, getting accepted by the mainstream marketplace into an enterprise system, uh, they mention three important factors that must be met. The first is governance, which is the loading of data and management of that data according to a set policy. The second is security, providing a comprehensive layered approach to security through authentication, authorization, auditing, and data protection of all data across the enterprise, whether it's at rest or in motion. And lastly, they mentioned operations, deploy and effectively manage the platform. The goals of Apache Ranger are to basically secure the enterprise through a centralized security administration to manage all security related tasks in a central user interface or using REST APIs, fine grain authorization to do the specific action or operation with Hadoop component tool and managed throughout a central administration tool, standardized authorization methods across all the components, 
enhanced support for different authorization methods, role-based access control, attribute-based access control, centralized auditing of all user access and administration actions, security related, of course, within all the components of Hadoop. And for the most part, I believe these goals have been met. Um, in my experience, the last couple of weeks using this, I have found that it's uh, actually a, a successful product, which uh, comes as advertised. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of that now. Before showing a, a demo of uh, some of the features, I'd like to just give a brief introduction to what Ranger uh, screens look like uh, at a very high level. Um, the first screen when you launch a Ranger on on port 6080, you get a you know a simple login screen. Uh, default passwords admin admin and then you just click sign in. You then come to the repository dashboard which is basically at a high level uh, the system that you're trying to protect. You have to establish what the parameters are for that system. HDFS, Nox, which is a gateway, Hive is a database, Storm. Uh, and then we also can manage our users and groups from here. The analytics which is like a combination of all the policies. And then the uh, audit tables, which is uh, there's basically four parts to the audits, logins, access, results, that kind of thing. And let's just take a look at some of those. Uh, entering a user or a group, uh, there's nothing, nothing special about this. Basically, you enter a group. I made one demo ranger, there's group name. And now I'm just assigning a uh, demo ranger user to, to this group, a password. Uh, so this is user or admin. I just wanted to make it a user. Regardless of where we create the users and groups, uh, whether it's here in the Horton sandbox, which is, runs on 48,000, or the Apache Ranger user and groups, they have to remain synced. That way, whatever policies we're enforcing uh, via Ranger uh, have the correct user and group information. Taking a look at a typical Ranger policy, uh, here what I'm trying to do is uh, for my HDFS, uh, I want to only allow to this directory demo uh, the user's HDFS to have full access and the user HUE to only have read and execute but not able to write. And then I would save that and then that would be the policy for this, this directory. When I don't have access, this is the kind of errors that you'll see. Uh, cannot perform. It's you're an admin, but you're not a CCFS super user. Uh, basically, the right access was not uh, available to this user. And in the auditing, when I go look up this attempt to add that record or modify whatever I was trying to do there without the access, we can see that it was denied and that was uh, logged in here. So I'd like to look at a, a complete uh, demonstration of a policy. And what we'll do for this demonstration is just going to be a simple SQL command um, for privileges. And we'll toggle those um, using Hive. So for the, for, the, for the first query, we'll have the privilege to do a select. Um, and then we'll turn off that privilege. And then we'll try it again. And it should fail. And then we'll check the log and things like that. So so go ahead and just see. So here's here's what happens when we first start up. We get our <coughs> login screen. Go ahead and sign in. Uh, we come into the dashboard. Uh, we're going to do Hive. So we're going to select that. We're now we're within the the Hive policies. We want to do the XA demo database. And we want to mod and we want to uh, edit this. And we're going to edit it for basically this user hue. We're just going to verify and make sure that uh, those privileges are in fact set to do a select, which they are. So then we come into the uh, the Horton sandbox and we log into that. And we're turning on port 8000. And I go ahead and come over to uh, Hive and the query editor. And I want to basically select all from customer details, which is a table within the XA demo database. And the data all comes back. 
because we do have the privilege to run that select command. Uh, so the data is all, all returned. These are all the customer information. And if we go ahead and check the log, and we can see that, yes, that was allowed. That read was, was allowed. So now to do the, the test to see if uh, our ranger is working here, what we're going to do is we're going to deselect the select commands for the user hue for that table, for that database, all tables basically. Uh, so we go ahead and we deselect that and retry that select command. And then we fail. Uh, error while compiling statement. Uh, basically, it tells us the user queue does not have select privileges. So we turn those off here. And then we go ahead and check our log, and we can see that, yes, in fact, we were denied. So that was a, su a successful demonstration uh, of the uh, just the turning off the select command within Hive. I'd like to also do a demo, uh, a quick demo on the HTFS features of Ranger. Um, this is, I think, would be the most important area um, that most people would be familiar with, um, since HTFS is the file system for Hadoop. So what I want to do in this one here is I have a, a directory demo, and I'm going to give it full access to two users, HTFS and Hue, read, write, execute, admin, and then um, we come to the file browser, and now I can see that I do have access to this uh, demo, and there's also and there's some data in there. I just made, made a data file. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a file called demo1.txt. Obviously, we have to have write uh, privilege to do this, which we do. So we go ahead and, and hit submit to create that file. And we can see demo text here. Um, we have full access to it at this point. Um, so we refresh the browser window and then we see demo text here. And we can see also in the log that we were allowed to do that right. Uh, now what we're going to do is, like we did the last time, we're going to go ahead and toggle that. We're going to take away write access uh, from user hue. Um, and then what we're going to try to do from there is see if we can create a file called demo2. And this should fail. And it does fail. We get this big long error message where we don't have write access. Um, all types of uh, <laughs> all types of error messages here. Um, and we can see that there is no demo2 uh, text here. Uh, at the same time, let's go ahead and now try and delete demo one text. Uh, we're going to try to delete it forever. Again, we, we don't have write access, so this also fails. We're not we're not allowed to do this delete. And these are both both of those transactions uh, were were logged, were denied, and were denied here with the write and uh, the write. So if we then remove um, the hue user altogether, which would also take away any type of read access, all access, we, have, we should have no access now to demo. And when we try to go to demo, we, we cannot do anything. We cannot access demo. You're not you're, you're an admin, you're not whatever, you, you're not a super user or whatever this is. So we don't even have read access anymore. So that's basically, basically the complete uh, and as you see in the log, we were denied read uh, of that demo that data. The conclusions I came up with for Apache Ranger were very positive. Um, all the testing and use cases I conducted, uh, it's definitely a quality product. It provides the security as it, as it advertises. And it, it runs seamlessly within the Hadoop products with no impact on performance. Um, you know, I don't have enough experience to say definitively whether this will meet enterprise requirements, but uh, I looked at a lot of articles, YouTube videos, vendor literature, and I've been able to 
uh, come to the conclusion that it's, it's an overwhelmingly positive reaction from the market. Um, there is some people that mention the fact that the product runs within the same file structure uh, that is protecting, but it, it, it requires root access to make any changes. So if someone's got root access, you know, you got bigger problems than, than the Ranger plugins. So I just don't see that as a, as a major drawback. Um, the install on Linux is not exactly straightforward. There's a lot of steps, but there's some really good um, help in that area. Uh, YouTube, there's some videos that walk you through the entire thing. Um, very helpful. Um, the, uh, the security is, is centralized, it's comprehensive. Um, it, like I, I, I did it with, uh, with Hive, I did it with, uh, with Knox, which is a, uh, like a network uh, protection, you know, like your perimeter protection, uh, which is IP based. And I just try, I kept trying, trying to break it and uh, I couldn't do it. Maybe some drawbacks. It only supports right now Oracle SQL Server. Um, that could be an issue for some companies. Uh, but as the, the product continues to evolve and new releases come out in the future, I'm sure they're going to be covering more databases. Um, they also mentioned that they'll be partnering with uh, other companies with, for things as far as encryption, uh, you know, the data protection, and looking into even uh, deeper levels of security, um, different authorization methods, including role-based access. Uh, attribute-based access control, and so on. So I think the future looks good for Hadoop, and I think it will be accepted as an enterprise system security, um, secure system uh, with, with, with Ranger. So, um, yeah, I look forward to checking it out and seeing how things go with it. Thanks.